Hi, I'm the Cranky Preservationist. Do you read R.I.P. Los Angeles? I do. Hell, sometimes I write it. Anyway, we're here in glorious South Normandy, where from 1124 South Normandy down to 1138 South Normandy, oh my god, have you ever seen a more glorious collection of early real Los Angeles? 1124 is 1902, great piece of nice folk Victorian, Edwardian built though it may be. Its neighbor is also 1902. This wonderful stucco 1923 apartment building is designed and built by H.R. Dunn. And then there's another little Victorian next to it, 1903. And what's going to happen to this nice piece of low-slung early Los Angeles? Well, we gotta tear it all down. We gotta rip it down and put in a big old honeycomb looking cubicle thing uh, because somehow we're near transit. They're getting TOC. They're gonna put on some giant 84 unit and because eight units of that is government subsidized, we get to have an increase in height so what, when they're only allowed 40 feet or 45 feet, they get to allow 56 feet. And a reduction in side yards, they get a reduction in open space. So look at all this open space, look at the setbacks, look at the open space that this has. No more open space, they say. Which is funny because I went to school at UC Santa Cruz. And I was told, back then they said, come on kids, go get high and run around in the grass. Well, guess what? Nowadays, like these, these Sacramento liberals up there, like Scott Wiener, he says, you're not allowed to have any grass. You're not allowed to have open space. We gotta have housing for the children, but the children don't have any grass. Because as soon as you have transit-oriented communities, communities, you're not allowed to have any open space. TOC is all about the reduction of open space, opening up the floor area ratio. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this in the next video on Westmoreland. So, take a last, long, lingering look at this wonderful piece of old LA and its setbacks and its lawns. God, there's nothing worse than a lawn because God forbid we have anything green. <laughs> Listen to this poor doggy mourning the loss of its neighborhood. This is the neighbor's dog who lives just the other side of that and it's crying. It's crying because you are taking away its home. Oh, let's go pet the dog. Okay, go pet the doggy. Too. I could be a developer, he doesn't like me. <sighs> I shingle it there. Scott Wiener hates it. Scott Wiener really hates it. Everybody on Curb really hates it. Because God forbid we have single family housing. It's racist. <laughs> yes, single family housing is racist. <laughs> Come on, Cranky. Let's go get some lunch. <sighs> hey, but this is safe, right? Well, but it, well, no, it's a little bungalow court, which are racist. Because, you know, look, what color is this? Uh, green. Evil. Because what they'll tell you is that density is green. What they always trot out is that when you have dense apartment complexes, like that will probably replace this, is that they have shared walls, and shared walls mean you use less heat because the heat radiates between, you know, apartments. It's California. Guess what? Put on a sweater! Put on a sweater and live in these things instead of having like a 2,500 foot high Stalinist concrete bunker. Shared walls. 